Today in Zubo, we are on a brand new account with no new characters unlocked and we're gonna find out just how many we managed to collect right here from opening 50 legendary black rates. We've never done this before and let's just see what happens right now. And let's begin with the first one. Now, I wanna mention that we're on a beta testing version of the game, so keep that in mind here. And the chance of getting a character is pretty much like 95% or something. It's crazy. And there you go. That's our first character. We just got Edna. Okay. And what else do we get? Buck tokens. All right. We're going to start to see more tokens for uh, different characters over here. And we got some coins as well. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Now, that was a good start, but we could have gotten a better character than that. And there you go. Okay. We got someone else. And it is Faye. That is, uh... Still not the best, actually. Where are the good characters? And that's a ton of coins as well. Wow. Okay, let's see what happens here. And again, when are we going to get a black crate with no character? That's the question. All right, finally, we got someone that's good. We got Milo over here. And that is undeniably a pretty good character. I say he's like a, a B tier character or something along these lines. You know, he's not the best of the best. But we got to see when the best of the best actually arrives. Guys, comment down below also if you want to see more of this stuff here. Because that would be super cool. And hey, hey wait a second. Is that a, a J? Oh, oh, joy. This is where you get to something good. I say this is an A tier character or something like that. This is not too bad over here. And maybe we also get some sort of a primal instinct or something. I don't even know if that's possible at the moment, but we'll see. Another thing that I also want to find out is how many coins do we end up accumulating? That's something very, very good to find out. Oh, let's go. We got Max. That is actually someone really, really good right now. Finally, Max. This is a fan favorite. I really like this character and what else did we get here some joy tokens not bad gems you do get a solid amount of gems but it could have been better for the insane price tag on these crates i gotta admit okay let's see if we don't get a character this time oh okay a character can't get can't go wrong with this and we just got elaine all right it's a it's a decent character i thought she was actually gonna be super super good and she was when she came out at least in my opinion but now i don't think she, that she's the best you know there are better characters out there to be perfectly honest with you can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this looks as well look at that when do you ever get to see a crate just swiveling like that what a miracle! You didn't get a character? Okay, fair enough. Elaine, gems, coins. I don't wish this on my worst enemy, man. That's crazy. That was pretty peculiar. Wait a second. What is happening? Elaine again? <laughs> Have the stars aligned or something? Hey, look at that. We also got some decent items. They're not the best, though. We gotta get some better items. I guess that was just a miracle not getting a character, but this time, things are different. Okay, and who is it gonna be? We just got... Betsy. That was so random. I genuinely did not expect Betsy right here. And guys, in this moment, right here when you're watching this, comment down below what you think is going to be the next character that we get. And don't cheat either. Don't you dare. Okay, no character this time, I guess. Elaine, gems, coins. But that still applies, though. Okay, let's see what goes. And all right, it's a character. But who's he gonna be, though? And I don't know who that is. Who is that? Okay, Phil. Phil. Phil is a good character. He's actually pretty good in teams, actually. So you should play him in teams because he brings speed to the whole team. I mean, not a lot of people actually have Phil, but I guess we have him now. Man, I just can't wait until we get a character like, I don't know, Duke or something crazy like that. Oh, look at that. We got the we got Nyx. Okay, okay. How come we didn't have Nyx? We did start off with Buck, though, right? I forgot to tell you this, but we start off with Buck because you can't have no characters. You, you gotta go to the tutorial either way and get one character. It's impossible to have none. With that being said, we still need Bruce or something like that, you know? Because, uh... He has to come next, right? And who is that? Oh, ho, ho, let's go! We just got Susie! Arguably, one of the best characters in the game, if not the best character in the game. Let's go! That is an amazing character to start off with, actually. That is great. Gems, coins, whatever it takes, man. We just got Susie. That is awesome. And a lot of Betsy tokens. We can upgrade her quite a lot. Imagine getting Buddy right now. Okay, Betsy, fine. Fair enough. But why only Betsy, though? What's so interesting about Betsy, you know, at least we didn't get a character, but if you do not get a character, you get items instead. That's basically how this works here. And we got a ton of vampire teeth as well, so this is pretty good for items as well. But of course, if you want items, you should go for the legendary toolbox. So now we are on our 15th black crate over here, or legendary black crate, and now we got Faye, which is definitely not that good. It should have been Susie. But at least we got some items, though. That is not that bad, because vampire teeth is good for any character, honestly. It would be so cool to get Buddy right now, you know what I'm saying? But it just doesn't happen. I don't understand. Gems. 
All right, this is like our third or second time or something getting a whole bunch of items right now for no reason. That is super peculiar. When's the next character? I swear, if this is not a character, I'm gonna be so okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sunshine and rainbows. We did it, and we just got oh yes, Finn. A very good one, actually. I've got the Finn outfit right now, fellas. Look at him. Look how beautiful Finn is. And we got some max tokens as well. That is what I call a good legendary black crate. That is awesome. All right, let's see what happens. And another character. Okay. No more items, I suppose. Which is good and bad. And we just got Romeo, another uh, blue-looking character, I guess. That's kind of fitting. And uh, he's one of the most annoying in the game, if not the most annoying. Maybe. It might be him or Paolo. You guys comment down below who you think it is, though. And there you have it. Okay, it's a character. Good. Very good. And we just got... Who's that? I can't even tell. Oh, we got Molly. Very good. So, who is it, though? Molly, Bruce, uh, what was his name? Buck and Nyx. Those are the starter characters, I guess. They've changed along the way because there's four and there shouldn't be. But still, still, we need to get Bruce. Okay, that's who we're missing. All right, 20th Black Crate. Legendary Black Crate, to be exact. They've got the same name. And who is it? Who's this? Oh, we got Yara! I guess you can say that she's a starter character, but not really, because she's kind of at the at the very beginning leagues, but not a beginner's character. I can't believe we've opened 20 of these and not gotten Bruce. That is horrible. But let's move on, though, and just see what happens. Gems, coins, very, very good. Oh, look at this swiveling around. It's a character. Good. We might just get all of them. I'm not so sure. Hey, wait a second. Who's that? Oh! Yes! We got Steve! Look at him. Look at him flying around. Steve is the GOAT! He's a fan favorite, he's awesome, and everyone loves him. Maybe you shouldn't love going up against him because he's really strong, but playing Steve is great. On the other hand, that is awesome. And did we just get like 700 gems? You know, that's better than average. Can't go wrong with that. And we can also maybe re-roll this for some reason, but let's not do that. Alright, what's hap what happens now? Okay, okay, another character. Can't go wrong. And we just got Paco. Oh, it's Paco, because it briefly shows what the character is, but most of the time, I can't tell. We got Paco. Very good. He's a, he's a very annoying character to go up against. A lot of annoying characters for some reason, but that doesn't mean they're bad. All right, another one. Very good. And what just happened? We got, who's that? Because I can't even tell. Oh, Frank, let's go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. He might not be the best character ever. To be perfectly honest, he isn't, but still... He's fun to play if you've got him at a high level, so make sure to upgrade this guy because he's going to be super cool to play as when he's at the high level. And maybe a cool skin as well, but that's up to you. Maybe you don't like the skin, maybe you do. Let's see what happens next here, and alright, no more items. I like that. The game is redeeming itself here, and we just got... Who's that? Oh, you can tell by the silhouette. We got Kaylee, which is uh decent to say the least. More like a, a 7 out of 10 character. That's basically how you define Kaylee over here. She's not the best, but she's not horrible either. And I'm just so curious to see how many coins do we accumulate at the end of this? That's my big question. Alright, let's see what happens this time. And alright, as you might have expected. And what's going on here? Who's that? Oh, I see. It's Jade. Yes! Jade is a good one. Maybe she's not the best right now in the current meta or whatever you want to call it. Maybe there are other better characters out there. But still, Jade is forever gonna be one of, if not the most solid characters in the game. Because you still can't go wrong with Jade. Alright, let's see what happens this time. And Kaylee, fine, fair enough. And <laughs> you're not going to get a character every single time, okay? it's That's that's going to happen, unfortunately. Imagine saving up for one of these and then you just don't get a character and you get Vampire Teeth instead. It's a good item, but still, that would be a nightmare. Okay, I guess it's item season right now, or maybe not. Maybe we don't get items this time and instead we get something else. Because you can't go wrong with this. We got Zack. And uh, he's saying hi to us. Hello there. That is a good character. Maybe he's, maybe he's not the best. He's like an A-tier character. But still, can't go wrong. Let's see what happens right now. And oh, okay, items. So maybe it is item season after all. Maybe it is. <laughs> what? Guards badge on basically everyone? That is not okay. Definitely not. We are now 30 legendary black crates in. And comment down below just how many characters we've gotten so far. Because this is crazy right here. How many characters do you think we got so far? That's the big question. Because we haven't gotten one out of every single crate, alright? So, holy shadows and stuff. When are we going to max out these items, though? That's the question. Let's see. And alright, alright, alright. Character. But who is it going to be? Oh. Maybe it's gonna be someone good and... Really? And why do they reveal Gigi before the character? That's so strange. 
That's so weird. I don't get why that's the case. But hey, Tony is definitely not a good character. Should have gotten someone else. But you know, if you're gonna get everyone, which might happen, I don't know. I hope that happens. I hope we get everyone. It's gonna be okay at the end of the day. But still, don't play Tony. He's not good. Legendary Black Crate. And we get Molly, because we needed some tokens for Molly as well. I gotta admit. And then we get Vampire Teeth for a lot of characters, which is good. Okay, maybe we get a character this time. Or maybe not. Max, okay, it's bound to happen at the very best. Now, let's see what happens. And again, character? Fine? Fair enough? You know, you really gotta appreciate stuff. It was cool getting a lot of characters, I admit. Can you please stop, man? Really? We still gotta get Bruce. Where is Bruce Wildlife? Where did he go? Because I can't see him. Hey, Bruce. Okay, it's someone. It could be Bruce. I hope it is. Maybe. I don't know. That does not look like Bruce. That is definitely not Bruce. That is who we call Fuzzy. And he's awesome. And you love to see him. And hello, Fuzzy. Welcome to the zoo over here. And I'm glad you're here. And <laughs> that's not too bad. Finally, something good. I never thought we'd actually do this. Opening 50 of these in a single video is genuinely insane. It is so weird. And... I forgot that Earl existed in the first place, but I'm glad he's here nonetheless. I should have shaken hands with him or something because he's got the meaty claws and everything. Well, fair enough. And look at those coins. Two million coins? Yeah, you could do some nice upgrading with that. You know, we could still distract ourselves with other characters, but the question is still there. Where is Bruce? And where did he go? You know, we did talk about Buddy earlier in this video. If, of him showing up and stuff, but he still didn't show up or something, which is pretty peculiar if you ask me. And he called this getting unlucky or lucky. Because we're getting so unlucky that it is lucky. Think about it, it's really strange. But hey, Vampire Teeth for Paco, it's uh, very worth it. <laughs> if this is another item, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Gems? Coins? Really? Where's the character though, huh? Where did he leave? <laughs> I mean, it's about to happen. It's okay. Okay, this has to be some sort of- Wait, what? Okay, Steve is actually pretty good, though. And the amount of tokens that you get here is genuinely insane. Don't let that get over your head. You get a lot of other rewards here, even if you don't get a character, okay? The items may not be elite, but the fact that you can upgrade a character so much is really, really good. You know, you really got to keep that in mind, you know? And what happens here? Edna? Okay, okay. Edna. If, if Edna wants to show up, I have no problem with that. <laughs> but still... Where is Bruce? Okay, this is where stuff gets pretty weird. Oh, yes, character! But who is it, though? Oh, we got Wanda. Very good. At least getting a character exists. At least there's a possibility. <laughs> and we can actually get a character. I'm glad that's the case. We got Wanda. All right, and just, uh, just to clear it up for you, 504 gems. Nice! The coins as well. It's gonna be 2 million basically every single time here, so it's fine. Four more legendary black crates, and then we find out exactly how many characters we got and the gems and everything. So, it's a character. Good. Because if we were Adams again, I would have gone genuinely insane. And look at that, Shelly. It's weird getting Shelly after all of these later released characters. Shelly popping out of nowhere. But Bruce, you can say the same thing about him as well. And 8,800 tokens for Molly, that's insane. I'm no stranger to a lot of Molly tokens, because we have her at level 19 on our main account. So, uh, it's... She, is she the best character to upgrade? Probably not. But still, <laughs> go for it if you want to. If this is not a character, to be honest, I wouldn't rage quit. Okay, we're good. We got Steve, which is... Arguably really really good. You can't go wrong with this. But where are some Susie tokens though? That's what I'm feeling right now. Some Susie tokens. That would be good. Alright, let's see what happens now. And it's a character. Very good. But who is it gonna be though? Who is it, huh? Who are you? And it's Quinn, which is arguably one of the worst in the game. So applause for Quinn, I suppose. Zack, gems, coins. Very good though. Now the reason I say it's very good is because it's still a character, you know? You can't go too wrong with this. And this is our penultimate legendary black crate. So getting uh, items out of this one may not be that bad because it could make the, the last one actually give us Bruce! Because we need him! Ah yes! <laughs> Look at it. Look how beautiful this is. The last legendary black crate. The 50th legendary black crate. And what are you going to contain here? So we're going to do this real quick. Three, two, one, boom! No way, finally, we got some J tokens, man, <laughs> I'm so glad that's the case, yes, coins, items, sign me up, that is actually not too bad, because still, the other rewards that you get are still good, don't get me wrong, and now we have reached 1 million coins, because we started off the video with 1 million coins here, so, um, 
out of the black crates, we could we could just say that we got one 100 million here, right? We have 100 million coins that we got out of the black crates and 1 million that was just there from the very beginning, all right? Keep that in mind. And in terms of gems, start off with like 900,000 or something, and then we have like a million something. So you do get quite a lot of gems, but you shouldn't open these for the gems. <laughs> there are better ways to get gems in this game, trust me. And now the moment of truth, we have 27 out of the 45 characters in this game, which is arguably almost, uh, can you say that's half? No, it's not really half of the characters in the game. It's a little more than that. But still, this is arguably what you're gonna get here for what you what you pay for. And uh, we're still missing. Maybe we can't get Nico in this case. But Bruce, Larry, Paolo, Pepper, Iris, and so on and so forth. We could have gotten them. But still, what we got today is really, really good. And all the coins for all the upgrading. So if you want to see an extra upgrading, because uh, I'm really hungry for an upgrade video right now. If you want to see that, just comment down below. So fellas, I'm glad you enjoyed this. If you did, smash like, and I'll see you in the next one. So peace out, and have a fantastic day.